there was a piece uh, earlier today from Reuters about uh, Facebook and the, the allegations that Facebook is uh, basically racially discriminatory in the way they're censoring posts and information. And we've seen this. I actually just saw on Twitter tonight that there have been several younger leftist thinkers that have been suspended from Twitter for various reasons. So we've seen how either from people reporting old posts, we saw this happen when Ben and Yvette Carnell and Boyce Watkins and others were blocked on, uh, they were basically in Facebook jail, what, last week um, over uh, uh, older content. And, and we've seen this, this targeting of particular people's uh, verbiage and, and discussion and discourse. And, you know, Facebook is just like, well, that, that violates the community. But how is discussing, in many of these instances that I personally have seen with friends of mine, um, my friend Yamina, who helps me run uh, African Americans for Bernie and Black Burner Coalition, she was simply talking about how she felt that white people who want to understand more about race need to go listen to Tim Wise. And her account was shut down for three days. And this was during, I believe this might have been during like the tail end of the primary process and out in California where she's trying to organize not having her social media, one of her major aspects of social media for three days was was really difficult in the middle of the organizing she was trying to do. So we've seen this targeting of attacks and stuff and, and the attitude. And, and no, it's not just some automated thing at Facebook. Like when we've seen the responses, because you'll get a response, right? And it'll it'll say like a you know someone has reviewed your request so 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 we've seen information that they're actually people reviewing these things and they're deciding that no nope. but we see some of the other stuff that's allowed to be up and say on Facebook and it's like nothing nothing happens so th there clearly is an active targeting of certain people and viewpoints and ideas that's happening in social media and the question begs. Why don't we have, we, we complain about how much, how bad the evil empire is and the evil corporation and we're raging about capitalism <laughs> on, on, on corporate sites. When do we then start to invest in our own mediums of exchange? You know, like, like, is that something that the left should be doing? Should we be doing something or investing or supporting things like Media Revolt, which Michael Salomon has been developing and hopefully will be able to, to launch soon, um, which which has platforms similar to that, which is for the people. You know, do we, do we, I'm starting to learn the, the deeper I get into the activism and stuff, right? I'm starting to learn about the different apps people are using that help get around um, some of the, Ooh, excuse me, some of the, the surveillance and things like that. So, so it's so much out there that we have to be cognizant and aware of. And I thought that was just a really interesting piece I saw earlier um, that people are starting to put the pieces together and really push back and challenge, you know, but at what point do we stop demanding the tools of the presser to be fair to us and just start creating our own stuff elsewhere? I know we got some awesome coders and other people out there, um, programmers who can do this, this type of stuff. Um, you know, if, if if that's something that you do and you're interested in, um, you should definitely hit up Michael Salomon's because we need to get media revolt and projects like it launched.